Am I on 10? Yeah, okay. I was like, we gotta refilm it. I can see it real well, too. This whole area being open is Yeah, dude. Uh, you could easily go. Uh, with a cash paying tenant because the the tenant base uh, over here with like you know the desirability of the property and whatnot uh, it, it's fairly easy for us to get some pretty desirable tenants in there so uh, 1075 cash or section 8 some floor shots of Derek fiddling with the door hello please it's a creepy chair in here welcome to the investment property sales show folks thing is selling at or above list we are going to provide you guys with complete transparency and education we take you to the video tour won't wise be giving it to you straight i got a nice little turnkey deal for you guys man nice little turnkey one here check this one out y'all 12 5 15 Leela ave cleveland 44135 we priced this bad boy for you all 74,900, and this thing just needs a teeny 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 little bit uh, of cleanup and it's ready to rock and roll more or less totally turnkey right if you take a look at the footage you'll see we got the nice neutral colors the nice gray color with the white trim uh, the particular seller here, uh, they pretty much did everything for you guys. Everything is more or less done. You're at the point now where you're literally just like punch listing it uh, from here to putting in a tenant, right? You got a little bit of cleanup and then she's ready to rock and roll, right? So no major renovation needed. Uh, it'll be very easy for you guys to get attended in here paying uh, $1,075, possibly like $1,100, right? My recommendation over here, uh, you can go Section 8 or you can go cash, right? When the neighborhoods get to the point where they're pretty sketchy, pretty risky, I tell you guys, hey, man, we got to go Section 8 here because actually collecting rent on a regular uh, basis is very hard to do, right? Getting consistent rent payments uh, is, is one of the biggest problems most investors have in the Cleveland market, right? So when you're in uh, some of those like low, C grade neighborhoods, y'all. You got to go with the Section 8 uh, to, to keep the consistency up, right? But over here in this particular neighborhood, this is a pretty nice neighborhood. Uh, I would grade this as like a very high C. Uh, so I still like Section 8 tenants uh, for the consistency of their payment and the fact that uh, once you get a good one in there, they don't typically move out, right? It's kind of set it and forget it. The government's got that check on autopilot. Ten tenants got their housing covered on autopilot, right? So it puts your life on autopilot. But neighborhood like this as well, though, uh, you could easily go uh, with a cash paying tenant because the the tenant base uh, over here with like you know the desirability of the property and whatnot uh, it, it's fairly easy for us to get some pretty desirable tenants in there so uh, 1075 cash or section 8 right you kind of have uh, your own choice in how you want to do it right currently the property is not lead paint certified so you'll need to go through that lead paint certification process uh, but here given that the seller has already like freshly renovated this thing more or less uh, that should be a fairly simple easy process uh, that you'll be able to do before you put your tenant in there more info on the lead certification program can be found in my lead certification video uh, I published that video quite a while ago because a lot of people don't understand how the lead certification process works here in the Cleveland market it's new law uh, and, and most folks are not aware of it but here at Holden Wise TV, we're all about educating you guys, right? You ain't going to make no money if you don't know how the game works out here in Cleveland. Uh, so after this video, before you put in an offer with me, you're probably going to want to watch that. Obviously, I'll explain in there how the bidding process works, uh, which is why I can't really give you a bid right now. Uh, you'll have to see how that process works, and I explain it in the video. Because it is kind of a convoluted and bureaucratic process, but it's the friggin' government, y'all. That's what you get. Uh, you deal with the government a decent amount of times when you become a real estate investor right most people uh that are new to the biz they don't really know it sometimes we get a little political here at whole nice tv and people are like no are you here political what is politics got to do with real estate like everything dude everything if you don't understand there is a massive correlation uh between politics and the government and your business you're an idiot you need to subscribe to holton wise tv so i can help make you less of an idiot right because if you're that freaking stupid you ain't gonna make no money in this business y'all you have to understand uh that the government the government is got their hand in everything in the real estate business man you're dealing with the government all the time your tenant don't pay rent boom 
You got a victim. Guess who you got to deal with when you're a victim? The government. You don't get to just kick them out yourself. You got to deal with the government, man. Government comes in. They do all kinds of stuff. Rent control, right? We don't have that out here, but other places do, which is why a lot of -of out-of-state investors come to this market, right? These new lead laws, that's the government. Stuff happened one way. Government comes in. Now it happens a different way, y'all. The government's very important. Understanding what's going on with the government is really going to help you uh, navigate this market and make money, right? So I go over that entire process, so you really got to watch that, right? So my suggestion is watch the lead paint certification video and know that's the process you got to go through on all your properties. Uh, With this particular property... It's pretty much going to be basically nothing, I'm going to assume, because this thing looks pretty fresh uh, and clean and crisp. Uh, But you need to understand that kind of stuff uh, for other properties in the Cleveland market, right? Then after that, come back to me and either put in an offer by sending it to my team at sales at holdenweiss.com or just reach out to my team if you want us to actually get you inside of this property, right? It's not tenant occupied, obviously, as you can tell. It's totally vacant. So uh, seeing that it's vacant, we'll get you in for your own personalized tour, right? You can walk this thing yourself if you want to bring your own contractor that's totally fine if after you close you want to manage it yourself have that contractor do your work cool if you want Holton Wise to take over the management and do that work for you and put tenants in there for you not a problem we could also insure the thing for you right we don't let you do tours uh, on occupied properties, right? We only let you in during the inspection. We can't you have ha- can't have you guys bothering the crap out of our tenants. But vacant properties, man, we will get you or anybody else you want to go with you into this property whenever you need. Then after that, let me get them offers, y'all. If you want to pay cash, cool. Send them to sales at holdenwise.com. Say, hey, man, I like 12, 5, 15 Leela. I want to offer, you know, 75 G's cash. Here's my proof of funds. Let's rock and roll. Or if you want to finance it, <clears throat> that ain't a problem either. Hey, man, same deal. 12, 5, 15, Leela, 75 Gs. This is my pre-approval letter. Or you might not even have a lender yet. Don't be sending me no finance offer if you don't got a lender. But you can shoot me an email, and I'll get you one of my lenders. Because we have lenders that loan to people just like you in all 50 states. And guess what? My foreign nationals out there, we got you guys hooked up too, right? We have lenders that will loan to people outside of the USA. I have clients in many places, Singapore, the UK, right? We have folks everywhere, all throughout Europe. We got them everywhere. We even had, uh, we get a lot of people from uh, South America. Uh, what's that one? Uh, I'm losing it. Brazil. We get a we get a decent chunk of folks over there from Brazil as well. So wherever you guys uh, need financing, we got you hooked up. Oh, Canadians too. We got we got all types of Canadian clients, man. You beer chugging, hockey playing syrup loving dudes i hope that wasn't seen as racist i don't feel like that was racist that that don't be offended canadians that was not racist eh? oh 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 did i really do that i was a joke guys come on we're all friends here we could take some jokes seriously though uh we do have investors uh and clients all over right so we get a ton of ton of folks from uh canada right like i know a lot of you guys out there in toronto dude the market is is like tough out there and uh, things are really starting to get pretty highly regulated too right like in talking with a lot of my Canadian clients, it feels like like Canada, like a lot of you guys' regulations for your rental properties kind of feels like California in America. And holy moly, that is terrible. Not as terrible as that dirty hellhole Portland, Oregon. But like whew, those places are kind of tough, right? So we do get a lot of out-of-country investors uh, who come and we do hook them up with financing as well, right? So that's it. That's the property. That's my spiel. Also, hockey's cool, guys. I was just totally playing. Let's go. Some floor shots at Derek fiddling with the door. Hello, please. It's a creepy chair in here. Oh, I need the light. Peter, are these your keys? Mm-hmm. Yeah, they are. <laughs> Real engaging footage right now. Huh. Well, Derek, are you in there? Okay, just making sure you're okay. Fire pit. Oh 
Trouble-licious. I mean, other than the smashed out windows, this ain't a bad joint. No. Yeah, once they finish the work on it, I think it'll be pretty decent. Yeah. Ooh, scary. Like, that's it. That's how it ends. Yeah. Am I on 10? Yeah, okay. I was like, we gotta refilm it. I can see it real well, too. This whole area being open is fucking sweet. Yeah, dude, you fucking tripped me out. That back door was unlocked. Was it? Yeah. Oh, shit. Well, and also, there's like five things of ground chicken in the sink that have been there for a couple days. Seems like it. Where is this fucking thing? It's right above that trees over there. Yeah, I'm getting a 360 right now. Hello. And then uh, everything cool in there? Yeah, we should be good to go. I mean, we gotta lock that back door, but we're good. So they, I didn't even think about it, but we didn't bring signs and shit. That's all right. But I talked to Steve, he says, like it's, so bad. it's not far, so it's our, like my neighborhood. This is, yeah. I just told your, him we would come back whenever. This is your area. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.